The photoelectric effect is something that uh, actually Einstein won the Nobel Prize for explaining. Turns out he did all sorts of other crazy awesome things, but they didn't give him the Nobel Prize for those. It was only for this, for explaining this. So here's, here's what happens. In a photoelectric effect, you have light uh, coming in. So let's say we've got some photons coming in here and they're hitting some metal surface. Maybe it's zinc, for example. And so when the light comes in, it can actually kick out electrons. Okay, so incoming light actually kicks out electrons. That's the photoelectric effect. Now it has a few features. Um, so below a certain, let's say, threshold frequency, uh, we're going to call that F0, no electrons are emitted. And this was really curious. This is what uh, had scientists baffled. So what happened was, uh, remember frequency of light, that has something to do with color. So basically, you shine light of a certain color at this metal, nothing happens. And, as, and if you just change the color of a light, all of a sudden, at some point, maybe you get electrons kicked out. So that was the first thing that caused people like, whoa, what? So that was the first sort of, this is, I guess these are the features of photoelectric effect. Okay, so um, also though, an increase in intensity of light uh, has no effect um, oops, I should say effect on the kinetic energy of the electrons. So again, we thought that if you made the light brighter, so once you have this effect happening, um, you know, once you had it happening, if you just made the light brighter, you should get, you know, faster electrons or something. But it turns out, nope, increase in intensity had nothing to do with it. And uh, maybe I can say that um, above this threshold frequency, the kinetic energy of the electrons is proportional to the frequency. Now what that means, maybe I'll give you a little graph here, a little chart to show you this. So those were, those are three features of photoelectric effect. So let's uh, have a graph here and I can have a graph of the frequency of light that's sort of incoming onto this metal surface compared to the, uh, in this case, the kinetic energy of the electrons. All right, with a little E minus here. That's normally how we write it like this. Okay, kinetic energy of the electrons. And if I do that then, what this tells me is that, first of all, there's a threshold frequency below which nothing happens. So maybe I'll make that here. So let's say I call that F0. What this means then is that below F0, nothing happens. There's no electrons emitted. Um, but above which, so above that, then the kinetic energy uh, of the electrons is proportional to the frequency. Proportional means linear. So it'll do some sort of straight line like this. So what this tells you then is that below a certain frequency, in other words, above a certain wavelength, if you think of it, frequency and wavelength work opposites. So below a frequency or above a certain wavelength, nothing exciting happens. You can shine any color of, uh, sorry, any intensity of light. If it's the wrong color of light, nothing happens. But as soon as you get the right frequency, in other words, color, then uh, photoelectrons are emitted. So they can actually be kicked out and they go a different speed depending on the frequency. So then higher frequency means higher kinetic energy means they go faster. So this is basically uh, what the real effect is here. This is what happens with photoelectric effect. Now, what could be the uh, reasons or sort of, maybe I'll say, you know, how? This is what Einstein won his Nobel Prize for explaining. He first of all said, he was the first one to actually say that light is quantized. 
So this brings us back to this whole idea that photons have energy E equals HF. So what he said basically is that the light coming in only comes in in certain amounts of energy. That was the first uh, sort of mind-blowing thing that he suggested. This E equals HF is related to a photoelectric effect at first. It's actually useful in lots of other things as we just saw before. Uh, so that was the first one was that light uh, is quantized. Now the electrons that are trapped in the metal, so in this case in the zinc, uh, they need a certain energy in order to be ejected. Okay, so what this tells you is that the metal is sort of like holding on to the electrons and you need to give these electrons enough energy to basically kick them out in order to make that jump. And that is also quantized. So the main thing is this then. Uh, we have this thing that's defined called the work function. And it's measured in electron volts. Okay, this is the key thing here. The work function, and that's the energy needed to eject electrons. Or you could say it's the energy that the metal is using to sort of hang on to these electrons. So this is basically what uh, Einstein did. He, he explained this stuff really well, it turns out, uh, quite elegantly, and in the you know, at the same time, you know, explain this E equals HF, which is really useful to explain energy levels and transitions and things. So um, the main thing is that light is quantized. So light comes in energies of certain amounts. And if that amount is enough to overcome the work function of the electron, in other words, that electron is being sort of held with a certain amount of energy. If the photon coming in has enough energy to cause it to sort of break its bond with the uh, metal, then it'll be kicked out. It'll be ejected. So this work function is key here. The work function tells us how much energy is needed to kick the electrons out. So that's the, the first, um, or I think some of the basics of photoelectric effect. We can also look at some more details, which we're going to do in the next video. But the main thing is just that um, energy and light is quantized and there's a work function that's holding these electrons in. That's the key thing to remember here.